there. Now it's locked. Okay. I'm really nervous about having this test done for the jaundice. His digestive system and his urine and his liver and everything just hasn't really kicked in yet. So uh, he's just kind of backing up a little and all those little toxins get in there. Even though everyone tells me this is a common thing amongst newborns, it still doesn't put me at ease at all. Um, I just want to have a healthy baby. I just want Maddox to be okay. And I just want this test to come back fine. Okay. You got the kid? You got the kid. Oh, I got the kid. I had the kid. Oh, yeah. Baby Maddox is getting a blood test to determine whether his jaundice levels are still too high. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Pacifier. The miracle drug. There it goes. I'm telling you, this pacifier is a miracle. So they will call you, you know, I'll come to you. Take care. I figured they wouldn't have sent us home. If it was so bad, they wouldn't have sent us home without any antibiotics or the blue lights or anything like that. Um, it may come down to that, but the prescription for today was just put him out in the sunlight for 15, 20 minutes and start giving him as much food as we possibly can. Every time I see him get a shot, but he took it like a champ this time. He was great. It went a lot easier than I thought it would. Ready? Mackenzie's sister and cousin are already there when the family returns home to wait for the doctor's call about baby Maddox's jaundice. I think Maddox looks like Mackenzie. He has her nose, I believe, and her little heart-shaped lips. And he has a full head of hair that he didn't get from his dad. He's okay. Really with them. Yes! With Dr. Severin. What you say? Billy Rubin is a little higher than yesterday. I don't know if that means negative, if that's bad or good. But she said she wants to see him again tomorrow, and she said we need to supplement him with formula. I'm a little disappointed because, you know, we tried our best to keep him in the sunlight a little bit yesterday and to and to get him as much um, feeding time as possible. And you hope that those things would, would progress. Did she say at all about how do we do the supplementation? Or? No, I, I think just like we were described to her in, in the hospital that we were doing a little bit of formula and whatnot. Okay. So. What? And we should probably get him in some sunlight. Uh, yeah. Oh, stretch. The last 36 hours have been, it's been really interesting. I don't know, I was expecting to just come home and stay in bed most of the time and not do anything really, but we've had so many people coming and going, and now dealing with this whole jaundice thing, I wasn't expecting to have to go back to the hospital, and now having to go back again tomorrow, and there was so much that I wasn't expecting. I feel like, uh, I don't know, I've made an incredible transition here in my life. Hi, pal. It's just the beginning of a very long, never-ending spiral called parenthood. He's totally changed the family in so many different ways, and not just even with me and Seven, also what I see with my family. I see so much love coming from them for this little boy, and it's just such a beautiful thing to see. He's just made everything wonderful. When I think about if it was what I expected it to be or not, absolutely no. It's not what I expected it to be. Once you have a child and he comes out, anything you thought you knew before, you realize you don't know anything. Coming up. How long will it take before baby Maddox finally gets over his jaundice? It's been 10 weeks since baby Maddox came home from the hospital. It's like a full service station, huh, man? Maddox weighed 6 pounds, 10 ounces when we brought him home from the hospital. And now he's exactly 13 pounds. <laughs> he's a big boy now. Everybody loves Maddox. I mean, even though he's just only 10 weeks old, you can see little qualities where he laughs and he smiles and he starts to pay attention and it's it's just amazing everything about him hey papa we haven't really been able to set a routine because our lives are so scattered anyhow Give me squiggly pants. i mean a musician an actress you really don't get a routine i just want to bite those cheese 
I think he's taking a poo. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> he's down by the red cheeks. During the first week or so, Maddox had, had jaundice, and at first I guess I was starting to get tense over it, but you realize it's just a process and you got to do as much as you can to educate yourself on it and then kind of let it, let it run its course. And thank God at that time it wasn't so bad that he didn't have to stay in the hospital and have further things done, but we did have to keep having him tested. And then finally, after about two weeks, the tests were coming back better and better. Three, two, and then I went back and forth between breastfeeding and pumping so that Seven could give him a bottle. And now I'm, I'm going to start, I think, uh, weaning him off a little bit. I'm trying to get him to sing. Make more of this. I will definitely be going back to work in a matter of a couple weeks. And I want him there with me so badly, but I'm very torn because I don't want to take him away from his environment. Uh... See how it goes the first week, and if I absolutely can't deal with it, then yes, he will be coming every day. <laughs> I think he's going to have a very unique existence because it isn't going to be the normal nine to five mom and dad. Give your mom a kiss. We started out with four dogs when uh, we brought Maddox home from the hospital, and uh, unfortunately, one of them became very snippy. Say hello. Say hello. Buddy, one of the little chihuahuas, um, actually ended up biting me and biting a couple of people. So I thought that's just bad news because he'll end up biting Maddox. So we had to find Buddy at home. The other three have been great. <laughs> Today is a big day because Maddox is going to the set for the first time where his mom works. Today we are going to go over to Passions and uh, Maddox is going to meet all of my friends over there, uh, the cast and crew. And when I looked down, the first thing I saw were his eyes. He's just so curious about what everything's going around him, and there's so much stimuli in this work environment, obviously. And he's such a cutie that everyone's hovering over him. I'm sure his point of view is a little crazy, but he's adorable, absolutely adorable. A lot of hair too for a baby, which is a good thing. He just knows I'm holding the bottle. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. It's either the boob or the bottle, man. He's when I look at Maddox, I just I light up. I don't know. There's just so much of a greater purpose in life. Uh, he just is everything to me. It's amazing because I can just look at a picture of him. I just look at the baby monitor and I just, my heart swells. I've never felt so much love. Until you have a child, it's, it's just a completely different kind of feeling. It's, I, you can't really explain it. It's just amazing.